In this video, we're going to show you the difference between luxury and ultra luxury. Welcome to Alonana by Sanctuary in the Masai Mara. Okay, before Tracy gives you a room tour of this magnificent safari cottage, let me just say a big thank you to Hungary Expedition for sending us here. Guys, if you want to book a safari here in Kenya, luxury, ultra luxury, or any kind of safari, make sure to check them out. They're the best in the business here in the country. All their information are going to be down below as usual. Even though we're staying in a safari camp, we are not staying in a tent. Welcome to our five-star river suites. So when you first come in, you have your mini bar area. We even have a coffee station here so you can make your own coffee in your room. Cookies, of course. And then if we come over this side, you start to see how huge and luxurious that this room truly is. So we have a king size bed here. Over on this side, we have one of many lounge options here. Day bed still seeing the river, which you're gonna see in a second. So a little workstation here. We come down to lounge area number two, which is so spacious. I love it, especially if it was raining, you really don't have to be outside because you still get your view, which we'll show you in just a second. And then on this side, we have a workstation, but let me show you how luxurious this shower is. I know I normally talk about a tub, fantastic tub, don't get me wrong. This is the shower and the view, it's such like a naturalistic shower. I love it. So and there you have your toilet, double sink, and then we have one more seating area outside that we're gonna show you. We come outside and each of these suites are facing the river. Fantastic view, but like I said, there was one more seating area over the side. And outside David. Now that you've seen our amazing and very luxurious river suite, we're gonna walk back to the main area where we're gonna have lunch by the river. We're, you're gonna see a little bit, but we're gonna keep most of it to show you tomorrow when we do our official camp tour. But like the main area is stunning. There's monkeys everywhere. You just <laughs> ran around behind me and I was very confused. Salad, chicken, and we share the sorbet. So the one, one, yeah, yeah, just please. one, but two spoons. Oh, we got the spoons already. <laughs> So for lunch, we have the perfect place right against the rail on the Mara River. Doesn't get much better than that. For the appetizer, we have like a salad and a couscous salad. And it's like super nice. I love when it's like a warmer, sunny day to have like a light meal. And it's perfect. Yeah, because it's like a cold couscous salad. Quinoa salad, sorry. Oh, quinoa salad. This is the perfect style lunch. So we have a Cajun chicken build your own pita. It looks and smells fantastic. Look at this perfect little pocket of goodness. <laughs> I can eat this all day, mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. Well, the sun is long gone. That ship has sailed. Yeah, but like two hours ago, it started thundering and then like yeah. an hour ago, it started raining. But we're gonna go back to the main lodge, maybe enjoy a little glass of wine. Hopefully they're gonna maybe have a fire. I hope so. That'd be nice because it's, uh, it's a little bit on the chilly side tonight. Yeah, it's just where it's like <laughs> that damp like, yeah. coolness. 
By the river, of course. Let's go enjoy some coziness. Just enjoying the fire, our glass of wine, and the pot of hippos down there. So for our starter, we chose to go with the soup and salad option, which they actually have up there. So there's a little salad bar, plus your soup, self-serve. You can add your toppings to your soup. So fried onion, yeah. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds, I forgot the word. I had a major brain fart. Um, yeah, and crouton. <laughs> It's fantastic. I can tell you right now, this is going to be your favorite. <laughs> what? Oh, this is so good. Oh my god. I don't want to share this with you anymore. You have to. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. <laughs> So we have finally tasted all the meals. We've experienced the staff, the service. Tomorrow we have the game drive. But guys, like this <laughs> is a true five star. Like, like there's luxury and there's ultra luxury. And this is ultra luxury. We have a very strong statement coming at the end of this video. So <laughs> stay tuned as long as everything stays to par. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's go to bed and we'll experience the rest tomorrow. I'm so pumped. There's like a fan there straight into the net. Ah, oh, so good. There's an AC. This bed is so comfy. It's like sleeping on a cloud. But this is the thing. Like, you're not in a tent. You have to realize that. Yeah, you yeah, You get yeah. the no, extra luxury of not being in a tent since the AC. It's a, it's a, it's a villa, a river suite. It's a suite. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys in the morning. Very early, of course. Good about night. About 5.30. <laughs> Good morning. We had a glorious night of sleep. It is 5.55 a.m. Time to go meet our safari guide and go on a game drive. I knew we were going real fast for something. We just found a leopard in the tree with a kill, with a hyena on the ground. We're basically like just across the border, so we have like 30 seconds to grab a picture and go back. Wow.
get the shot. Gotta go, gotta go. Well, it's a lucky morning. We just found a second leopard on the Kenyan side this time, so we can get some better shot. But like, yeah, he's just right there in the high grass. We keep losing it. Like, it's just like walking around in the high grass and we see it, then we don't. Can't be that far. That was great. Definitely one of the better leopard sighting we've seen so far. Like that was solid this morning. Just slow stuff. That's okay. We made it out. No worries. Welcome to breakfast. What a view. So we have some sausages, French toast, crepes, eggs, fruit, and croissants. It's fantastic. I'm gonna make a little uh, croissant egg salsa sandwich. <laughs> back to camp and we really didn't expect to see a hippo because it's 11.30 in the afternoon so it's hot normally they're not out of the water um, but yeah there's a hippo right there the area where the hippo is right now is quite populated like there's people everywhere and everyone seems to be like quite confused why the hippo is here found a water hole It was a successful game drive. We almost saw the big five. I mean, we saw buffaloes, elephants, lions, and yeah. even two leopards. I know, right? But no rhinos. I mean, there's only 18 rhinos in this uh, region of Kenya, so like they're pretty rare. Would have been nice, but still two leopards. Like, I'm so happy about that. I like the hippo at the end. <laughs> Tracy is easy to please. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How is the day? Good. Very good. All the employees here are just so nice. Quick little outfit change. Now let's go for lunch. I think it's gonna be another great lunch. First of all, I mean, the view doesn't get much better than that for, uh, for a meal, but they, are doing another kind of like tapas style, light lunch, warm I day. Yeah. I just love it. Yeah, sometimes when you get like, it's still, the food's always still great when you get like a full free course, mm -hmm. but like it's just too much for lunch. Yeah. So this allows us to like fully enjoy our supper. A little bit of everything, it's gonna be great. Yeah. Okay, so our meat tapas plate is what we have for lunch. We have falafel, hummus, uh, beets, marinated cheese and like a sun-dried thing, uh, spicy sausage, we have a potato thing, marinated olives, smoked salmon, and a chicken pate as well. And then our breads. This looks and smells so good. And lunch just got even better because I noticed they have chapatis. <laughs> Mini chapatis. Nope. They don't. Now it's time to show you around. So on this property, there's 15 suites total with one being a special suite. And we're gonna show you that later. 
But let's go into the main area. It is the wow factor is as soon as you cross through right on the river, you won't be disappointed. Coming into the main lodge reception area, on one side we have a dining area, which is for dinners or inside dining if it's raining. On this side, we have a beautiful lounge area with plenty of places to sit. And then in here, we even have a small library, a little bit more quiet fireplace for the evening. Outside, we have a bar, and then you come on to the riverfront. Look at this. So all of this overlooks the Mara River. And from here, there are actually three different pods of hippos that you can see right from here. So afternoon, grab a drink, whatever you want to do, work, whatever you're here for. And just watch the hippos. Continuing along the Mara River, we have a beautiful seating area here for the evenings. If it gets chilly, a little fireplace, have a drink. And then up here, we have a very classic bar, which I love. And again, another fireplace. front of the main lodge, we even have a bush boutique. Let's go check out inside. <laughs> so they even have a boma shop here on site. So this boma was actually made by the Maasai ladies. And then inside, all the things you see inside were from the Maasai community. So behind us here, they even have their own organic garden on site. Right now it's currently under construction because they're building a roof to make it more greenhouse-like. But just know when you're eating your vegetables that a lot is coming from here. Two more things. One, stairs that are going nowhere? No. Morning and afternoon when you go on your game drive, the trucks come right here and it makes it more accessible. And the other one, I'm still blown away by it. Come check it out. Welcome to their gym. Okay, not that you're probably gonna do a lot of workouts when you go on safaris because you're kind of like here to relax and you're on vacation. But if you want to, if you like working out like me, this is the best gym I've ever seen in a safari camp because they have like a bench, they have like curl, they have different machine, but they have weights that are like actually more than 10 kg. So if you wanna actually work out, it is possible here. No, I got it. One more thing, as we're heading towards our room, let's show you the pool, which is being heated by the beautiful sun. However, if the sun is not on your side, it actually is heated. <laughs> Welcome to the Jeffrey Kent suite. So this consists of three bedrooms. On this side is exactly what we are staying in right now, but on the other side is basically the family unit. So instead of booking the full suite, if you're just a family, you, there are three of these on site that you can book as well. So originally it looks exactly like our suite that we're in, the king size bed, the seating area, the bathroom. The only main difference with the bathroom is that the shower is slightly smaller, and I say slightly because it's still a huge shower. However, if you keep going in this way, you have a kiddo's room. Or if, whoop, <laughs> if you were three couples, I'm sure they can push this together to make a king size bed. Now you share the bathroom, but you still have a separate entrance to this bedroom as well. Coming back out into the main area. So we have a dining area here, and there's a full bar there as well. Something there is to know, you can have all of your meals here. So it actually comes with a chef. There's a kitchen in the back that you can't access just for them. And when you go on safaris, you have a private guide. This runs solely as its own unit. Fireplace here, even onto the other side, because I'm gonna show you another area. Down into a cozy seating area, however, 
you have your own private pool here for you guys as well. This is heated to 25 degrees. We have a massive balcony that extends on each side with the bedrooms. But I think part of the highlight, sorry, just eyeing one out. There is a hippo pod basically just in front of you. And I can already see this is a fence camp, but the hippo path is literally like three feet on the other side of the fence. So you most likely will see the hippos out and around. Time to go see if we can find the only member missing from our big five. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Benson, do you think it's going to rain? <laughs> uh, I believe so. Yeah, he's like, yeah, it's going to. <laughs> but it can be 15 no. Okay, 50-50. Okay. Of 15. 15. 15. 15. So, so you're 85% sure it's going to rain. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty high. <laughs> It's official, we have seen all of the big five in one day. I actually can't remember if we've ever done that, to be honest, in the Mara, especially because rhinos are harder to see. So that is fantastic. See you, Benton. We have our own private little setup here, just in like the library area, but it means we even have our own cozy fireplace. What type of seafood is in the curry? We have the tap, it's uh, shrooms. Okay. And prawns. Ah, okay. And the, and the tilapia. Perfect, I'll get the seafood curry. Seafood curry. Yeah. Since this seems to be your suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> the other sanctuary property we're at as well is that the menu comes with a wine pairing option at the bottom with like a red or a white wine so tonight we took the red option which is a merlot so if you are a wine lover this is a really cool thing to add to the menu yeah just something give me yeah <laughs> Trace is a little sneaky as I as we're never... filming this, like my birthday is actually in three days. Three yeah. days! So when you see this, it's past. But <laughs> I cannot keep a secret from you for the life dependent on me. So it was very hard to like not 
Yesterday, so, apparently, she faked going to the bathroom and just told them that it was going to be my birthday. They I made me a job. cake, a song. Mm -hmm. It's a great evening. Thank you. Lala Salama. Another fantastic night. I even had time to take a bath this morning, which that never happens. So that was fantastic. <laughs> but for now, I'm hungry. Let's go for breakfast. <laughs> Safari camps are always amazing, but this one is really, really going to be extra hard to me. Also, overnight, some umbrellas grow on the ground. That's weird. I think I'm ready guys this was truly an ultra luxury safari camp experience and if you want to book this place or any other amazing safari here in Kenya make sure to check out on Gary Expeditions all their information are going to be down below as usual creme de la creme <laughs> okay now I told you I was going to make a strong statement and to see if it held up over the weekend here it is it's very strong. It's very Get strong. Get ready. I've never said this. If you've watched a lot of our safari videos. You know the impact that this has. So, you know that Ashara is our favorite camp. This is the same tier. Like, I can't, I can't bump Ashara out, but at the same time, I can't put this place at number two. Yeah. They are tied for number one for... Yeah. Because it's two completely different experiences. Yes. Ishara is like a tented camp, ultra luxury yeah. with all the amenities that you can imagine and everything. This is like you're still going on a safari yeah. adventure with all the amenity of a hotel. You yeah. get like, you know, this massive bed, you get the AC, you get like these massive yeah. rooms and, and everything. And being on the river, like it truly has that retreat feel to it. Like you can just hide away and you yeah. don't have to go see people. The reason why it's up in that top tier are ranked on food. Food was absolutely fantastic. fantastic. Like not even a, like, oh, this one no. could have been better. Like 10 Everything out of 10. Everything was true fine dining. And my favorite thing... Their service, guys, and I mean like even with the managers, like the managers are coming out to help serve you even. Everyone is just happy Everyone and there is for you. In. They know that it's like it's not too much, but they're yeah. there if you need them. Like it's hard to put that service into words, but it truly is the ultra luxury service. Yeah, everyone seems to be happy to be here. Yes. Yeah, and it really, really shows in their service. Yeah. And otherwise, I mean, look at this room, guys. Like it like, doesn't get much better than this. I hate to say this, but I cannot find, like I try to be constructive when we go to camps. I legit cannot find one thing I would change. That's true. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that being said, <laughs> yeah. So if you're looking for an ultra, and I mean ultra yeah, luxury safari experience here in Kenya in yeah. the Masai Mara region, and you know, you don't necessarily want to stay in a tent and you don't mm -hmm. want to stay with the little buggies and stuff like that. This is it, like, this is phenomenal. I would move into this place and be happy for the rest of my life. The view, yeah. the facility, the bed is so comfy, the AC works so well. I mean, overall, a fantastic experience. So once again, a big thank you, Don Gary, for sending us yes. here because we're gonna remember this place like forever. Yes. And otherwise, forever, forever. <laughs> time for us to go back to Nairobi. <laughs> and see, and see you guys. In the next one. <laughs>